Hi, I'm Kaylee from createwithkaylee.com. I'm excited again to be here on the UK Scrap Addicts channel. And um, this month we've got a create a layout using only one six by four inch photo. And this is actually a really difficult challenge challenge for me because I love making mini books and it's not really much you can do with one six by four. So I thought I'd revert back to um, just a 12 by 12 layout page and see what I could come up with. First of all, I wanted to scrap this old photo. Um, it's black and white and I really fancied using some bright, vibrant colours. So I decided a black and white would be a great base um, because I can build up colours on top of that. I also wanted to um, create kind of a textured background. Um, and I did, but I didn't really feel in the mood for much stamping and I really wanted to use a lot of paper or card, should I say. So I've gone ahead and punched some of these kind of diamond shapes. I'm not very good at maths and shapes, so I don't really know what they're called. I just need to punch a few more out. So I'm just going to punch a couple more out. I didn't think you'd want to watch me do all of them because watching someone punch isn't exactly thrilling. Um, but I, you know, thought I'd show you a little bit of what I'm doing. So need a couple more of these and a couple more in the lovely lipstick pink shade. I think if you're going to work with a black and white photo I think the perfect match is some really nice bright colours. So I'm going to use these cut out shapes, these punched out almost diamond like shapes to create a textured background. Now much the same way that I've been told you tile, you need to pick one and just start in the middle. Now I don't want the whole background to be covered but I kind of want a diagonal shape to go across. So now the pink is actually going to create a bit of an effect because you can't really see the um, the pink colour because it's going to just merge into the background but that's still going to create a bit of an effect. So just going to take it in turns to create this pattern. Now the best thing to do here is to create the pattern and then stick it down after. So I'm just going to go ahead and start creating the pattern and then when I'm happy with it I will stick it down. So hopefully you can see just how I am just layering these trying to follow the same kind of path of the pattern. It can get a bit tricky though. So I think I want to build it out a little bit more. Um, and it's one of those things where it's really easy to do, but it's also really tricky to get to get this pattern just right. Okay, so I think I'm almost there. And you may see that these overlap. That's no problem. I'm going to cut them away once I've finished. Um, I just want to create this sweeping. I think I need to get rid of that one. No, maybe I'll keep it. Um, I think I need one more green. So this kind of textured background for me is really fun because it's going to be a relatively simple page because we've only got one photo. So I don't want to have the page just be quite plain. I want to have this really nice strike, striking background. So now I've done that, I'm just going to go stick that down and I'll speed up this part so you don't have to watch me do all the sticking. Okay, so now we have stuck down our background, all we need to do is trim away the excess. And I'm just going to do this with my snips and then we should have a nice 
patterned background that's really textured but um it's not too thick and heavy to go into a protector obviously forgot there that i was sticking part only part of that down Okay, so now I have my background, what I want to do now is find a place for the photo to live. Now I think I want to have it in the um, bottom left hand corner, but I do want to create a frame for this. So I'm just going to grab some of the scraps that I've been using, or the, the pieces of card that are now scraps, and just line these up um, to create a background. So I'm just going to trim the excess off just so that I've got a nice easy piece to work with and then we should be able to layer matte and layer this. Okay so that was a silly mistake because I forgot that my photo was 6 by 4 so I just trimmed this down to 6 by 4 inches but no problem we will have it in a different colour had six inches six by four on my head and um, it's because that's what the, the frame is which was silly but so I'm gonna map that in lovely lipstick which is the background color and I think this must just be a smidge shorter than six inches there we go so I'm now going to cut a second layer just to give that a bit more um, depth and dimension I want it to really pop off the page. Okay, there we go. Happy with that now. So let's layer these down together. I'm desperate to go back and scrap all of the the missing years that I haven't scrapbooked, and this is part of my start this is probably a picture from maybe six years ago when I used to live in Gosport and you can't tell because it's black and white but it actually was a really glorious day and when it was sunny in Gosport it used to just be like being somewhere in um on a beautiful hot country really so let me just see where I want it I really think I want it in this corner which is good because it actually covers up where I've got a bit of a glue spillage situation going on there and I want to do a quote so I want to have some text I'm just going to use this beautiful stamp that says um, live every moment laugh every day and love with all your heart so I think that's a really beautiful um, quote to go with this layout it's a relatively simple page this but because the background is kind of a bit striking um, I don't want to make it overly fussy. Knock the camera there. And because I'm going to punch this out I could just stamp anywhere in the page. Just line it up where I want it to come out. And let's just see where we can position this. Am I happy with that? Let's see. Not quite. Okay. So uh, I feel like maybe this needs to be backed slightly, not with that colour. That's the thing with scrapbooking is your work's never complete. You could always keep on going and adding more to it. There we go. So let's lay this down. Um, and I want it to kind of equal distance from each side and let's lay this just to create a bit of a frame punches are so quick and easy to work with I love my big shot, it couldn't be without it but there's something so simple about just grabbing a punch and creating the shape that you need going to grab some dimensionals for this. I want this to be just a little bit of a height and there we go. I kind of feel like I want some pals as well. 
sorry my pals have <laughs> got dog hair stuck to them that's so <laughs> not good I do apologize I'm just gonna stick with three pals just in the corner it's a really good rule of thumb if you're stuck with a um if you want to with a, an, um, an embellishment just to put three on there do I want any more I feel like maybe three no I'm gonna stay stay that Okay, so here is my 12 by 12, 6 by 4 inch photograph layout. It is relatively simple, but we've got this striking pattern background. I think you could easily overdo it and just keep on building and building. Um, I've not got any measurements to tell you, actually, so the measurements won't be on the blog. Um, but I will share some, in, some closer photos so you can um, get a sneak peek at some of the elements. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying everybody's 6x4 photo challenge. Please do share your 6x4 creation on our Facebook page, um, UK Scrap Addicts Group, and we'd love to see what you're, what you're making. Hope you have a great day and happy crafting.